In this video, I'll walk you through what exactly an XML sitemap is and how you can get it on your WordPress website. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. So let's dive in. First, what exactly is a sitemap? Well, if you're doing any SEO, search engine optimization for your website, then you've probably run across this term. Basically, an XML sitemap is simply a list, a file and a list that's on your website that tells search engines like Google exactly what is all on your website. So it shows all of the posts, all the pages, authors, if you want to show that categories and tags, if you want to show all of that, any custom post types that you might have, it shows all of this on your website and it makes it super easy for search engines to know exactly what's on your website. So they know what to crawl. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that it improves your search engine rankings. But if Google or any of these other search engines know exactly what's on your website, it makes it easier for them to search it. And then it makes it easier for them to crawl and index your pages. So kind of an indirect way it does help with search engine. So if it doesn't directly help with search engine rankings, then some people ask, well, why do you even need it? Well, the biggest reason is if there is a page that's on your site that doesn't have any links from any of your other pages, then it can get lost and Google might not know about it. But if it's in the sitemap, then Google has the list of all of the pages that are on your site. So it knows exactly everything that's on there and will crawl your site and should index it all. With this, you can also showcase which ones are more important, how often they're updated and things like that. So how do you create a sitemap for WordPress? I will show you three different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. The first method is just by having the default sitemap on WordPress. Before August 2020, you could not do a sitemap without having a plugin. But in August 2020, with WordPress 5.5 being released, they added support for having a sitemap. And this is if you don't already have a plugin like all in one SEO or Yoast SEO installed, then you can go to the end, do a forward slash, do wp sitemap.xml. And if you enter that in, you'll see that you now have sitemap. And you can click on these and you can see how many posts are a part of them. Same thing with pages, taxonomies and users. So pretty simple if you don't have one, but if you want to get more functionality out of say a plugin like all in one SEO, then I'll show you the next step. Now, all in one SEO is the best WordPress SEO plugin on the market with all in one SEO. You can do several things like get a true SEO score of your website. You can see how your website is doing. Now note that the sitemap is available with the free version of all in one SEO, but to show you everything that you can get out of all in one SEO, I am going to show you the pro version. If the pro version is something that you also would like to do, then you can just head over to all in one SEO or AIO SEO. And you can use promo code WPBVIP, and that will give you the best discount on all in one SEO. And then you can watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on how to set up all in one SEO to get the best out of it. But once you have this all set up, then you'll simply want to go to your WordPress dashboard and under all in one SEO, we can go to sitemap. Now this is where all of the sitemaps are for any sitemap that you want. You simply come in and enable it. For instance, this will be the general sitemap and will be of all of your items. Then you can go through and set all of this up. You can do how many links you want per sitemap. You can choose to include all post types, include all taxonomies. So if you want your categories and tags to also have a sitemap, you can choose that here. You can also choose to enable date archives. And then if you have multiple authors, you can choose that here. And the other cool thing about this is with all of my SEO with their pro version, you can do things like video sitemap. And now you see if I'm doing something like how to make apple pie, you see that these items are here. This is basically the video sitemap that is telling Google that there is a video as a part of this and it is bringing that information in. So if you want to do something like that with your website, then you can set up the video sitemap. Same thing with news. If your website is big on news, then you can enable the Google news sitemap on your website and get that up and running. And then if you want to, you can set up a simple HTML sitemap and that just lets humans read your HTML list of it. And then RSS sitemap that tells Google the most recent articles that have been published via an RSS sitemap. So there are several different sitemaps that you can choose from with all in one SEO. And it's specific to what you're setting up your site to do for the reader. And so now that we have the setup, you can click open up sitemap and you notice that the ending is sitemap.xml. 
And then this shows you all of the posts that are under your post. If you have several, you'll see all of those here. And now one other feature that All in One SEO sitemap has that none of the others has is you can add additional pages. Meaning if you have, say, a Shopify store or something like that, that is not necessarily on your WordPress website, but it is a part of your website, then you can add that page or that URL right here. You can also set the priority, but point three is usually the best priority that you can do. You can always set the frequency as well, and then you can do the last modified date as well. Then when you're done, you can simply save changes. And then one other feature is under advanced settings, you can choose to exclude certain ones here as well. And then method three is if you're using the Yoast SEO plugin for your SEO plugin on WordPress, then you can install the Yoast SEO. And if you go into settings, features, and you can see the sitemap. Scrolling down, we see that sitemaps are here. If you click on the little icon, then you can see your XML sitemap. Same with the others. This is automatically installed once you install the plugin. Okay, so now that you have an XML sitemap installed, what do you do with it? Where does it go? Let me show you how to add or submit your XML sitemaps to search engines. We're going to use Google since it's the most popular search engine out there on how you can submit it. I'm just going to come over and copy my sitemap. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to set up Google Search Console or submit the sitemap to our Google Search Console. Google Search Console is Google's way of showing you how your website is doing in Google. And you can watch this video on how I walk you through how to set up your website with Google Search Console. Just search for Google Search Console. And this is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click on it. And we can say, let's start now. Once you get started, you want to add your domain. So basically this is just your website without any of the prefixes. And it wants you to verify. So the easiest way to do that is simply select the HTML tag. We'll copy that. We'll head back over to our website. Let's go to all in one SEO and let's go to general settings. From here, we want to click on the webmaster tools section and we want to select the Google search console. Now we can paste that information that we copied from Google search console and save settings. Now we get a green check mark, meaning that everything should be good to go. And then we can head back over to Google Search Console and say verify. Now go out and verify. Great, once you verify, then you wanna come over to sitemaps and then you'll want to submit your sitemap and click submit. And then once you click submit, then it'll go out and say that it's fetching it or it'll periodically process it. So great, it processed it quickly and it says that it has seen 29 URLs. So a really great way for you to tell Google exactly what's on your website. Now, similar to the Google Search Console, Bing also has its own Bing Web Webmaster Tools section that allows you to submit a sitemap as well. So to get started, just head over to Bing Webmaster Tools and you'll want to sign in or set up an account. You can either import from Google Search Console or you can do it manually. Okay, now that you've submitted the sitemap to Google and Bing, let's take a look on how we can use it to improve our website. So let's head back over to our Google Search Console. And once it's been processing and get it, gathering some data in Google Search Console, you'll see your performance as well as some clicks and the coverage. One of the biggest ways that you can use this to your benefit is to see what are some issues that are coming up. So you can go under coverage and see any errors that are happening. You also see valid. So these are all of the valid pages that we have included. You can also see that they're submitted and indexed. You can have ones that are indexed, but they weren't submitted by the sitemap. So maybe there was an issue with the sitemap. Just go in and check it. And then aside from the XML sitemap for your website, All in One SEO also does several other things. Like it can show you right from its dashboard just how your website is doing. As a reminder, if you want to do the full version, just go to all in one SEO or AIOSEO.com and make sure you use promo code WPBVIP to get the best discount on all in one SEO. And then make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step by step on exactly how to install and configure all in one SEO for your website. And I'll see you over there.